Hello, and welcome to our review of the Viking Sea from Viking Ocean Cruises. The second in the fleet and the sister to the beautiful Viking star before her. We'd like to thank you for tuning in to Popular Cruising, as well as our co-presenter Travel Pulse, home to my regular written cruise articles. First and foremost, the Viking Sea is undeniably comfortable, with superb accommodations like penthouse verandas contributing. These rooms feature plenty of storage, automatic pod coffee makers and snacks, large flat screen televisions with a wide selection of complimentary on-demand content, lots of space and cozy furnishings. And the light Scandinavian decor is equally inviting. Particularly nice is an abundance of electrical outlets and USB charging ports. With not just two USB charging ports at each nightstand, but an additional five at the desk. Also besides the coffee station is a daily replenished complimentary mini bar and a convenient lit vanity mirror that pulls up from the desk. All details have been considered, including soft clothes, drawers, and closet doors. And of course, spacious verandas themselves. Back inside, highlights include low-rise thresholds into the bathroom and also into the shower, avoiding the tripping hazards found on most other cruise ships. And you can't go wrong with a much larger than average cruise ship shower, as well as the overall spaciousness of the bathroom. Upgrading to a penthouse junior suite affords even more space, in the bedroom and living room, as well as the bathroom. Stepping up in size yet again is the Explorer Suite, with a separate living room and bedroom, and a larger, luxurious bathroom with a massive shower and tub and view to match. But perhaps nicest of all are the wraparound vistas off the corner veranda. If you want the creme de la creme, the owner's suite is the place to be, complete with its own boardroom separate from the living room, as well as a dedicated dining area, plus a spacious master bedroom and a luxurious master bathroom. Of course, the owner suite can't be complete without its own private sauna and its abundant outdoor deck. As for activities on board, Karina Hagen, Viking Senior Vice President and the Sea's Godmother, oversees the Viking living room, the ship's central hub and atrium, complete with dramatic staircase and tapestry-sized digital display that showcases destination images on rotation. The three-story space features plenty of areas to sit and socialize, as well as computers beneath the stairs to take advantage of the ship's complimentary internet access, which can also be used with your own computers and mobile devices. And here's also where you'll find the guest services desks. Like all travelers, no matter how far our journeys take us, we like to remember where we came from. And that's why, while our onboarding experiences are inspired by our many destinations, our onboard art is very much an honor to our Nordic heritage. We have carefully selected a diverse spectrum of work by established as well as up-and-coming artists. Most of them are Norwegian, and this is to complement and enhance the light-filled Nordic influence interiors of Viking Sea. The works of art you'll see throughout the ship cover a variety of media and approaches, from digital to print, from oil paintings to photography and sculpture. The pieces have been handpicked for the depth with which they reflect our origins and the beauty with which they capture our magnificent nature. And when you're done touring the art using the mobile guide, there are also games to enjoy including those of the interactive variety, like memory at several of these digital touchscreen tables, or classic games to be enjoyed throughout, such as good old-fashioned Scrabble. In a welcome change of pace, the ship is not predominantly intent on making extra revenue, so there are no casino, photo gallery, or art auctions on board, only a few well-placed shops for convenience. 
selling everything from watches and perfume to sundries and logo items. Also special on board is the Live Nordic Spa and Fitness Center. Featuring the complimentary use of fitness equipment, such as ellipticals and treadmills, and more, all with scenic views. The salon sets the mood for a tranquil setting, where only treatments at the spa cost extra. Common facilities like Nordic bathing are all included. And just what is Nordic bathing, you might ask? Well, it's essentially immersing yourself in contrasting hot and cold settings. Like from the dry sauna to the cold plunge pool. Both of which are featured in the changing rooms. Our moving to the central facility is the steam room. Offset by the unique snow room with the first actual snow on board a cruise ship. Plus, there's a separate hot tub to enjoy in this point of view tour. As well as a wonderful jetted therapy pool. That is crowned by a cool flame effect, safely created with orange light on emerging steam. And one last opportunity for chilly temperatures is the cold water bucket. Of course, there are even more activities to be enjoyed upstairs or by glass elevator ride. Like those around the pool deck, either revealed or covered by a megrodome for sunbathing, swimming, or giving a friendly wave. There's lots of room for everyone. And the deck above is perfect for a little stroll or checking out the surrounding destination. And up one more level from there is the sports deck. With classics like shuffleboard and lawn bowling. There's also lots of great outdoor seating more exercise equipment, and even miniature golf. There's even plenty of shade to escape to as needed. Similarly, at the back of the ship, there's even more great outdoor seating. Overlooking the ship's signature infinity pool. With a translucent side cantilevered over the stern and a water level that usually goes right to the edge while in port. Still, the single greatest venue on board the Viking Sea is the Explorer's Lounge, a welcome return to forward-facing observation venues. When so many other new ships are doing away with observation lounges altogether, Viking crafts one that is better than ever. With not one, but two decks, a vast library of books that extends throughout the entire ship, and lots of windows that emphasize the destination. Also, the cool flame effect from the spa is reprised here. And at night, the stars shine inside as well as out. And they also light your way to the dance floor. But chances are, you're a little hungry now. So let's turn on the smooth jazz and take a tour through the restaurant. The ship's main dining room, where all of the seating is positioned perfectly along the windows. In fact, those windows are actually patio doors that open the perimeter of the restaurant to the outside promenade deck for alfresco dining, which for a splurge serves caviar or otherwise includes dishes like ahi tuna tartare, tasty seared sea bass filet, or a unique vegetable and Israeli couscous strudel. For additional snacks as well as something to wash it down with, the Viking bar is available. 
serving within the comfortable atmosphere of the Viking living room, just off from which is Manfredi's Italian restaurant, and its digital menu display and playful videos. It's one of two specialty restaurants on board that are entirely complimentary, requiring only reservations to be made. Paintings and photographs dot the walls. And stylish fixtures light the patterns below. But most importantly is the food. Like a fresh caprese salad. Uniquely presented hand-cut beef tartare. Oversized gnocchi alla romana. A mouth-watering bistecca fiorentina and a decadent dark chocolate Amorone Cremoso. Just next door is the other specialty restaurant, The Chef's Table, featuring a more modern decor, complete with neat video art. Here seven fixed course themed menus rotate every three days, like Asian panorama with chilled king crab, succulent lobster and chicken shumai, Refreshing lemongrass and red chili granita. A wonderful preparation of Peking duck. And a sweet Asian trilogy of desserts. It's also worth pointing out that even room service on board the Viking Sea is decidedly gourmet. The pool grill is available for more casual cuisine. But even its pizzas and burgers exhibit the same high standards of quality. where the variety of pizzas were always good. And the Pancho Villa burger in particular was always a home run. And once the food is served, the pool bar is there to serve drinks in which to wash it down with. Thanks to Viking Sea's ever-friendly staff. The World Cafe Buffet serves mostly the same fare as the restaurant downstairs, but in a self-serve atmosphere. And it too features the same perimeter that can open to the outside, including the Alfresco Aquavit Terrace and Bar at the stern, where the great food can be enjoyed by my friends here, including premium sushi and shellfish in the evenings. Also, the Winter Garden and its international decor makes not only for a great setting to relax, with its metal and wood accents, its chic water fountain and natural light, and comfortable seating. But it also makes for a perfect setting for tea time, featuring a large loose tea selection and scones. Also nestled within the Great Observation Lounge is Monson's, a traditional deli that serves a variety of snacks throughout the day with everything from cakes to split pea soup. But its signature is the fresh made waffle, making for a tasty breakfast. There is only one dining option that costs extra, and that is the kitchen table experience, which starts with a local market visit with the shipboard chefs. Like picking up fresh produce here in Barcelona, Spain. or even regional oils. Seafood straight from the ocean to the scale. Sausages, cheese, ham sliced on the spot, and lots of olives. Back on board, the kitchen table is literally set in between the ship's galleys. In a sleek demonstration space where guests can prepare the morning's ingredients. All under the interactive guidance of the master chefs. Stations invite participants to make charcuterie. Appetizers like tuna tacos. set in a bed of guacamole, 
and topped with a savory sauce. And perhaps an entree of paella. With all the selected ingredients of the sea. Expertly finished by the executive chef. All before adding some last touches and enjoying the delicious courses. Entertainment on board consists of screenings on demand in your stateroom, outside around the pool, inside a pair of cinemas, and also in the main theater. Here too are featured excellent cultural performances and lectures pertaining to the destination as well as pared-down production shows like this one carried over from the Viking Star that tend to underwhelm. The narrative attempt is appreciated. However, cabarets like the Rat Pack Revisited hosted at Torshofen are more successful, where a welcome live band and better sound system is showcased. In fact, it's the live music throughout the ship that's the highlight. Regardless of entertainment, it's the destination that understandably matters most to Viking. The very reason why we travel. Like Barcelona and the magnificent La Sagrada Familia. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com and travelpulse.com.